What's good, fam? This is Queen Common Sense coming back to you from the Shy Town remix to the Kakalaka Sticks, yo. I have been uh, ooh, very deeply disturbed and triggered by the latest developments out here. And uh, things have gotten really, really real, y'all. This is why I sit back in the cut and observe, study, and take notes on the behaviors and energy that we see in motion out here. Okay, life is really life. It's for real, for real. Whether you are on a platform uh, in social media on this World Wide Web or not, energy never lies energy is real and words have a lot of power baby okay i hope everybody is doing well i hope that uh you're taking care of yourself that means mentally physically and spiritually okay because life be life and to put it to put it plain, uh, that's putting it lightly. If you if you really want to keep it a buck, um, so yeah, it's it's trending. It, it finally came to pass. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I say that because. I know when I see a broken hearted person, especially a black woman or a black man, a child, I know when someone feels like they are broken and they just don't have any more left to bounce back. And I know when I see a monster inhabiting the host of a human being because that monster replaces the soul of said human being. Now, with uh, Kiki, rest in, rest in power, queen, rest in paradise. Oh my gosh. My gosh. My heart goes out to her king, her beautiful children, and all that loved her and knew her spirit and knew her heart. This jarred me. Uh, more than any other news that I have heard in a very long time like this, this really jarred my soul. And I'm not going to speak on why just yet. Um, that's not my lane right now. My lane is what I came to drop off to those of us who are truly conscious and connected to this universe and have an intact soul. And I'm speaking to those black hearted motherfuckers too today. I'm on one uh, and I sat back for a couple days and I didn't really want to talk about it yet because I was still in my feelings and y'all know how I do. I don't like to really speak or act until I can process my emotions first. It ain't always the way it happened all the time course because life be life in. but this particular subject I wanted to truly bring my message that channeled through me especially clear and I couldn't do it on the second when I learned of the news for me I learned of it around I want to say 8 or 9 in the morning eastern standard time I saw it 
come across the news feeds that I'm linked to. And um, I, I I know some people, you feel me? So that, that's confirmed it for me. And I'm not even going to lie, y'all. <laughs> I bugged the fuck out. You know, it, 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 it jarred me. It was disturbing. Huh? So I, you know, just jarred me. So I'm going to leave it there with Queen Kiki. Uh, I liked her as a person. I liked her spirit. She, she, she had a beautiful, radiant, bubbly spirit like most most Scorpios do she was a Libra Scorpio cusp but I've always resonated with Scorpio energies um, I've always admired or been linked to and still am linked to some very fascinating powerful loving Scorpios and we never really had much beef me and Scorpios because just like Virgos Scorpios shoot straight from the hip they are who they are and it's either like like Melody say Virgos say the same thing black or white in or out you with me or you against me if you ain't for me then I know you'll delete me okay you have the ability and you the capability to do so okay so that's that no, um, but I came for this channeled message that I've been, you know, letting simmer. Watch your mouth. Okay. Watch your mouth. Think before you speak and act and stop emoting so much. I'm just putting it out there. This is just to the universe. And wherever it sticks, then if that beautiful little baton strap that bitch up and strut, okay? If the don't apply, let it fly, okay? So this is a, I'm speaking to all y'all type thing. And myself too, as I point in my heart chakra. I'm pointing to myself too. Watch your mouth, okay? Because words stick and they do hurt. They matter. How you use your words is how you spin your web. Okay, do you want your web to catch prey or do you want it to catch prosperity? That's that's how my spiritual mentor, my Baba or the shaman that taught me the next level of shamanism do you want your web to catch prey or do you want your words to weave a web to catch prosperity? And this applies to everything. How you articulate yourself is very important. You know, that, and we get so impatient with the elderly um, and not even elderly, but some of us who are younger get impatient with some of us who are a little older and are slower to speak because a wise elder, y'all follow me here, crystal clear, a wise elder is not going to be reckless with their words. Mm -hmm. We have normalized verbal abuse when it concerns elder black women. I'm just going to be specific, okay? Because I am a survivor of this shit, okay? And I am sick of it and I'm now considered an elder <clears throat> okay I'm 52 I'm up there in the same age bracket with some real raggedy older women and it's embarrassing yo 
I'm just going to tell you the truth. It's embarrassing because I am not a fool. And now my younger sisters or those young women that might resonate with my vibe looking at me with the side eye because they bumped into a foolish, ignorant, ill-mannered, ill-spoken older black woman. Okay? So they're like, okay, is she gonna be mean to me too? Is she gonna bully me? Oh, I like Queen's energy. I feel her vibe, but I really don't want to step to her and try to bond with her like that because I don't know if she has a reckless mouth. Mm -hmm. and a tainted bitter spirit a lot of older women are still heartbroken yo a lot of older women didn't know and still don't know how to heal their childhood traumas their teenage years traumas their young womanhood traumas they still bitter Okay, and I'm just going to be honest with you. My mother is one of them. and She's been married to my father for well over five decades now. Bitter. Older, wise women are slow to speak. And they let their emotions take a back seat when it comes to fraternizing with younger women okay I'm here to tell you because I was taught by one of the most beautifully wise women that I ever met my own grandmother she said you don't have to be loud to be heard speak soft so you'll be heard and not loud because you will be ignored. That's the era my grandmother came from. She came from the Claire Huxtable era of women. She claimed from, you know, she she birthed that era of women. You you feel me? A lady, a well-rounded, put-together lady understands how to apologize and be contrite. I'm just telling you what my, my grandmother fucking told me, okay? Watch your mouth. You have a high responsibility as a woman. One of them is your motherfucking emotions, okay? That's one of many responsibilities you have as a black woman, your emotions as a black woman, a mother, an auntie, a grandmother, a cousin, a big sister. Those are your responsibilities to be careful with. Your emotions are so powerful as a black woman because we hold so much weight on our spiritual shoulders with having to combat stereotypes, micro racist, racist microaggressions, uh, uh, harassment, street harassment actual harassment okay physical motherfucking harassment worrying about our babies while we're away from them at work or they're at school trying to figure out how to way to finesse making that bag and still be an effective nurturing mother with with the with, with the enough to give to her children see that's the, what they got us real good sisters is they wanted us to feel like we were less empowered than the black man because he was allowed air quotes to have a, a, a career and be the provider and he's out in the world doing worldly things making his money take care of himself and his family and we were tricked into thinking that feminism was something we needed you understand me All right. Black women, we are the innovator. We are the heart, soul, and pulse of femininity. That's why every other culture of feminine women emulate what we do, even the dysfunctional feminine traits 
of black women. Just keep it live all the way a thousand, okay? I'm just letting y'all know what it is. This is what my elders taught me, my grandmother, okay? Not my mother. My mother was a foolish young woman and she grew never emotionally developed into that wise, sage, older woman because she did not heal. She has no contrition or forgiveness. And that's what I see in these here social media reality show streets with these older, reckless women who don't know how to watch their fucking mouth. They use their emotions as weapons. Okay? Okay? So, you already know, y'all should already know by now who the hell I'm talking about. Okay? And boy, did Melody Cherie set it the all. Okay? Like I said, this is what you call a G checkup from the neck up, from a legacy to an elder. How dare you? How dare you come for me like that? When I know, just like I know, just like everyone else knows, I did nothing to you, okay? People get angry and and they will delete you if they had the chance or felt could get away with it for dis allowing abuse okay because I stand in the same shoes as Melody with my own mother okay my mother's inside act like how wander act outwardly overtly people feel entitled to abuse you because you have a powerful strong loving generous heart because you have a soul. People feel like they're entitled to abuse you. I had to repeat that again for people sitting in the back in the nosebleed seats who love being blissfully ignorant, okay? Who love being deliberately stupid and slow to the beat like Captain Kimmy, who don't understand that abuse comes in forms that is not seen by the naked eye, okay? Because she, listen, I'm sorry. I can't stand goofy ass women, especially after a certain age. Life should have given you a little more seasoning, as my auntie used to say, than to be a purposeful dunce, especially black women. We have so much to navigate through that's negative and filtered through so we can remain with a good quality of life for the people that we love. And we love ourselves less than we love everybody else a lot of times, which is why we get specimens such as wander, okay? Bitter. There's no other terminology that will fit properly other than bitter, okay? Because if you don't, listen, if you see Melody, you see Charnita, you see Lauren, the makeup artist, you see young women getting it, okay, making a dent in the ugliness of the world, bringing more beautiful light into the world, why would you be mad? Why would you hate on that woman? Why would you do anything in your power to try to infiltrate her cipher to destroy her? Hmm. That's what the that's what the varsity squad captain of the side chick team over there is going to grow up past her thirties into a bitter older woman okay and let me tell you what it will do to you black woman if you hold on to bitterness it'll make you feel older it will make you look older it will rot you from the inside out 
That's as plain as I can make it. Hmm? It'll take away the God-given senses of your sight, your hearing, your voice might be taken. Why? Because you're holding on to bitter, old, decaying works, energy that has depleted. Holding on to past hurt. It's over now. It's done. Excuse me. I take a sip. That old memory, whatever triggers that memory, that's a you problem, not the rest of us problem. Okay? Pay attention to the whispering of the elders. So later in life, when you are struggling, the rest of the village don't have to hear you screaming. Wanda, bitter, petty, Betty. How, this, how disgusting of a mother who cannot apologize to her own daughter. Hmm. You're many me. And some of us only have one daughter, like myself. Hmm. Like Wasteland Wander. One daughter. And this is the example. This is this is this is the reference that 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 your daughter have to 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 look up to. Every woman, every black woman should have a, a shero in her life. Hmm? My shero was my grandmother, my mama's mama. My shero was her brother's wives. Okay? My mama's brothers got married. Those aunties were my sheroes, yo. Hmm? Do Tisha have a shero? No. She wanted Mel to be her shero. Melody is Tisha's shero. Okay? Melody is a lot of, is Kimmy's shero. Hmm? Melody is Wander's shero. Melody is Petty Betty's shero. Every time I see Betty scrunch up her fucking face, I think about that song by Neo, Hate That I Love You So, with Rihanna. People hate it when they love you because they're so damn bitter. You understand that? They they're, they're, they become accustomed. Listen, they become accustomed to and immune to being angry all the time like my mom. My mother feels that she should not have to change for her children or her family. This is how I am. Selfish. That's that's the onset of narcissistic personality disorder. Why should I change? Okay, I'm your mama. Because your babies are changing. Goofy. Because they need you to change, because they need you to evolve so that they can have someone to help them navigate the toughness that they call living as a black woman. Because I'm changing, I'm growing up. Y'all listen to what I'm saying to you. This is not me. I'm just a vessel and a messenger to drop this hoe off and do what I'm supposed to do, said the universe dot 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 okay so don't get mad at me it's a message i've been holding it for two days so hmm. now this is why i feel kiki should have never gone on that show this is why. Because she was too vulnerable and she was not completely healed enough to withstand 
the barrage of gang stalking, gas lighting, triangulation that happened while that show, while she was on the show. Okay? Because they nobody had half as much smoke for that for Lucifer over there. After seeing how ugly that divorce was, nobody had half as much smoke for him as they did for Kiki. Okay? And I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to say it one more time. Nobody had half as much smoke for Melody's ex-demon husband than they did for Kiki. And we all know why. Okay? Now, here's where I'm exceptionally disgusted with some of our people. And I use that term loosely. We never have empathy or compassion for a situation until it falls on our doorstep. And even then, if we manage to navigate through it, on the other side of that, we go right back to the same default crassness that we had before that situation arose. You forgot how you came up from whatever addictions you had. So you think it's okay. It ain't happening to me. So I can be reckless with my opinions and 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 catapult my opinions and prejudgments off onto this person who might be struggling with said addictions. Because people get addicted to a lot of stuff. People get addicted to uh, X-rated activities, okay? People get addicted to running their fucking mouth too much. People get addicted to watching foolishness, okay? People get addicted to a lot of stuff, especially black women. Some of us are some of the most gullible, backwards thinking beings on this realm. I cannot, like, that's why I can't take a lot of Tisha's energy because she is purposefully goofy. She does it on purpose, okay? She's not a very good actress. And then... Uh, the uh, another portion of that is she just is really silly okay she really don't have good sense and it's not completely all her fault because people manifest their lexicon of understanding at the baseline of their parents their first teacher mm-hmm. So, if you got a bap ass mammy who didn't pour anything into you other than chaotic, unorganized energy with no structure, huh? Then guess what? You're going to manifest a lot of that will carry over into your adulthood. Hmm? Just like anything else. Just like if you grew up in an alcoholic household, you have a higher chance of developing that trait as an adult to medicate your fucking self when when times get a little tough, when it's time for you to straighten out your back and put your shoulders back and hold your head up as a black woman, you'd rather guzzle down a bunch of fire water and act a fool because you have to medicate yourself to get enough courage to do the fugaga 
shit that you do. And after you do it, then the guilt seeps in the back door. And then you have to further medicate to quiet your guilt and quench your shame. Okay? Watch your mouth, black woman, black mother. Watch your mouth. Whether you are a melody superstar energy or you are what we would say in the human body, I'm just a regular everyday person. I'm just me. You don't have to have a lot of money or attention on you to have star quality. Okay? You don't have to be well known to possess a supernova energy that'll make everybody turn their head. And you definitely don't have to be loud to be heard and seen in the proper energy. All attention ain't good attention, okay? And every man, woman, child, person that provides you with said attention ain't worth accepting the invitation to them giving you attention, okay? I'm just, listen, this is how my grandmother used to talk to me. Hmm? I'm very blessed because she is the love that I never would have seen growing up. She is the love that I never would have seen as a little girl in this world. Motherhood is very precious and priceless. And a lot of us mothers abuse our position and gift that was given to us called motherhood. Okay, we abuse that title. We abuse that energy. And this is why we see what we see in a lot of our elder women. Once you pass 40, honey, you are an elder. Okay, after 41, you're an elder. And people are watching you. Other women are observing you. Even if you don't want them to, let me tell you something, a story about that. Okay, there's a little European clear girl that lived to the left of me over here. She has two young children. One is 14, one is a toddler. Okay, something's going on over there that shouldn't be. It's very dysfunctional. Okay, I don't know, but I know it shouldn't be going on. Okay, now, every time I step outside, me and Apollo to walk the yard, and go for our, our steps and hikes and everything. Whenever she's outside, she's watching me. I mean, I walk straight ahead. I use my peripherals so people don't know that I know that I'm that I'm watching their ears. You feel me? So I see her in my peripherals. I'm from the city, you know, we know how to keep it on a swerve without having to swerve. So I see her from my peripherals and I see her as I'm walking by, just watching me. You can see her head turn as I go by. She's about 30-ish, 20, mid-20s, 30-something. Okay, watching me. Day, night, doesn't matter when we cross paths. I see her stop and watch me. Okay? I see teenagers as we walk by. You know, it's not just a hello. I see them watch me walk past, yo. And as a young woman, I didn't understand. I'm like, why are these people looking at me? Can I have my face back? Why are you looking at me like that? I used to have a chip on my shoulder because I was healing from the narcissistic abuse. I didn't know what was happening to me. So I was very angry and scared, right? Terrified, panic mode. Because I didn't know what I would be walking back into when I went back home after school or after my extracurricular activities or after my little extended field trip with the little clubs I was into. I was into a lot of stuff as a young girl because I didn't want to be home alone with my mama no more. 
I was gaining in growing into my own autonomy. So I see these little kids, young teenagers, even little girls stare in my face and they do, uh, you know, un nonverbal body language to catch my eye. And when I, I love children. So when children do a little extra to make me, you know, catch my attention, I give them an extra loving, friendly sweetness. Because I adore children, you know. But people are watching you. Young, impressionable, sweet, spirited young women and little girls are watching you. And that girl that I told you about, the clear girl next door, one day, I was walking past, overheard her talking to a little friend. They were standing outside. I was coming back from our walk. And I heard her say, she's beautiful. I love her walk. That's my neighbor. Okay? Okay? So people are watching you. Other women are watching you. Okay? And I don't particularly care for this little girl over here. But I'm not going to be nasty to her, okay? I'm not going to treat her like she doesn't deserve respect because she might not be making the proper life decisions for herself at this moment, okay? And her cheer, okay? Because that bothers me, what's going on, what I hear going on. I shouldn't be hearing it, but it's so loud, you can't help it, okay? Hmm? Other women are watching you. I know I did. I know when I was a little girl growing up, I used to watch my aunties, watch other other women. I'm like, I would, you know, and some of my uncle's wives were so classy, so eloquent in speaking and how they carried themselves, how they conducted themselves, how they handled other people. I wanted to, I said, I want to be just like them when I grow up. And when I told my favorite auntie that, she was like, okay, well, then we'll, we'll let, we got work to do, baby. Who do you want to be? That's what she used to ask me. Who do you want to be? What kind of woman do you want to be? She said, I suggest you always walk a righteous path. Women are supposed to be righteous because your babies are with you all the time. Aunt Ernie. Okay, my Aunt Ernestine, so beautiful, so sweet. I rarely saw her upset, and when I did, it was hard to tell. She'd get really quiet, and then she'd be a little bit short. You know, she'd be like, well, niece, um, just come, come sit down and eat. I knew something was, she was pissed, okay? And later it would come out. Why? Because she said, you're not supposed to be reckless just because you're angry. I had to wait to tell you what happened because I was angry. And I didn't want it to come out wrong. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know. Listen, because I, I, oh, I got a firecracker. I got a potty mouth. I have a bad temper. Okay. But that's who I learned from, those type of women, how to be patient with other women, okay? And be honest with other women. Baby, look, I, this is what I see. Having been through that, look, let me holler at you. Just hear me out. Boom. Just, 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 just putting it out there for you, babes. I love you. And hey. Just think about that. That's all I'm asking. What's, what's, that's not that difficult to do with younger women. It's not difficult to cuff that younger woman and be gentle when you see her acting out inappropriately, especially with her children. Hmm? I wonder what friend, what type of friend 
I don't care if it's a relative, your cousin, your net, your, what, what type of friend would watch you use your minor child as bait to commit larceny, yo, and not say something and be like, what the hell are you doing? Putting that shit behind that baby like that for, for Sephora or for 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 Mac or for Estee Lauder? What? Girl, put that shit back in there. Okay? And if you want that, I'll buy it for you. You putting your child in harm's way like that? The hell is wrong with you? That's the type of friend I am. You not going to be around me stealing shit okay because i don't steal you're not gonna be around me and act dusty because i don't act dusty okay you're not gonna be around me loud ignorant and wrong because i'm not loud ignorant and wrong okay you're not gonna be around me negligent to your children i don't give a damn if they are grown or not if you're negligent and reckless and disrespectful to your children i really don't want to fuck with you okay because i'm not reckless with my children i'm not negligent despite how my mother tried to assassinate my character and turn rewrite that narrative for me tell my fucking story for me okay I tell my own fucking story. Nobody else does. When I'm ready. Watch your fucking mouth. Older women. Some of these younger ladies are watching us and they need our guidance by how we carry ourselves we don't have to come in contact with them at all okay when I was in the medical field I used to hear that so much from my daughter's peers when they would come visit we'd have spa day you know I'd let them you know ditch school for a couple hours early we would go hit the streets me and a couple of her little friend girls and they would be watching me i'd be driving down the street we'd be on the highway listening to music you know they're back there giggling in the back seat but one or two of them would be just be looking at me just watching me and they'd ask me a question they say uh mom such and such and such just sweet really want my input i said well baby listen you got a couple of options on that one. This is how we can look at it over here. Now, how do you feel you want to see this thing uh, unfold? How do you see it through your lens? What what What's up with that? That's how I would talk to my babies. Okay? That's how I still talk to them. Because they're people. They're not an extension of me. They are a representation of me. They're part of me, but they're not an extension. Okay? They're another better version. That's all. Which is a blessing, yo. Because I have to watch my fucking mouth with my people. If you love your children, you're not going to talk to them the way that I see some of these mothers talking to their children on live television okay watch your fucking mouth especially with your daughter why would you want to break her spirit and not have her feel confident in herself in her own talents gifts and treasures that she's developing and discovering it within herself. Why would you want to stifle that power? It's not for you. You're not God. For you to 
bring you I'm gonna bring you down a couple notches you think you above me no she's she's powerful so stop taking that shit as an insult and answer her fucking quest. If you don't know, be like, look, listen, I'm still trying to figure out who the hell I am, baby girl. So let's figure this stuff out together, shall we? I can't tell you how many times my daughter and I have had that conversation. Be like, you know what, uh, daughter? I don't know. I really fucking don't know. So let's 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 jump in here and figure this shit out together. And we'll grow together, baby. Okay, I don't I don't know. I was scared to death when I first had my first. I didn't know what the hell, but I knew what type of mother daughter relationship I wanted with my baby. I knew that I didn't want what me and my mama had. Okay. So watch your mouth. Watch your damn mouth. Okay. Other women are watching us, older ladies. And I, some of you saying ladies. Older women, we are specimens to a lot. How you carry, listen. Listen here. My, I, I wish I could share them with you, my aunties. My Aunt Rachel would check you, okay? But it was so smooth. She'd be like, uh, 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 come here, niece. I might be getting into a little argument with my older sister. If she was around, holiday some or whatever, me, my sister was always bullying me. Like, she she just always, woo, child, child. My my older sister was so damn jealous. She was a micromanager. Why you do that? Why you write that like that? How come you put that over there? It's supposed to go. That's how my, my, my sister was a micromanager. She was the first black Karen I ever met next to my mama. Okay. And my auntie Rachel would see her. She'd be like, uh-uh, come here, come here, niece. And she would tell me, she's like, don't, don't, don't do that. Because you know Valerie can't take it. Your sister can't take it. So just come over here and sit with me. And I would be 38 hot on a Saturday night type angry. Hotter than a 38 special. Okay. She'd be like, listen, let's talk about it. And she would talk. She would listen. That's the type of women I had around me who get, who who cared about how they showed up to younger generations. It matters. Watch your fucking mouth. Now, um, now that that's out the way, I want y'all to check this out here. This is what I was saying in my heart when I saw Kiki come on Love and Marriage Huntsville and she wanted to display her journey with battling and overcoming addiction. And it's very poignant. So y'all check this out real quick. Check it out. get their shit together. What happened was that person disappeared, you didn't see them or hear from them for a while and all of a sudden they popped back up and they was looking better, feeling better and doing better. And you're like, oh shit, you didn't see, you don't hear a tree grow. 
The problem is a lot of y'all want to be on the scene. You still want to be seen. You have to remove yourself from them environments. A lot of y'all be making these changes, but these little bitch ass changes. I had to stop hanging where I was hanging. I had to stop talking to who I was talking to. We know the eyes are a gateway to the soul, but the ears is the biggest gateway because what you hear become part of your thoughts. Your thoughts become part of your mood and your physicality. Then that becomes part of your behavior. And your behavior, the result of that is the life you have now. So you got to control what you live listening to and who you listening to i had to realize i was doing okay y'all heard it have any of you ever seen well recently we did we didn't see every detail of it but we didn't see melody get her shit together but boy when she did honey huh and she said it how many times on that show I got to I got to disconnect. I got to get myself together. I have to decompress. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. I'm just I'm just doing me. Don't don't take it personal. I, I I can't tell you how many times I've told former peers, friends, whatever. I don't be ignoring y'all, but I do. <laughs> okay. I, I, I really, it's not personal though. It's not, oh, I don't want to talk to them. It's I don't want to talk, period. I don't want to deal with nobody. Just my babies, okay? this Can I just have my babies and me for a time, okay? And disconnect from everybody. It's, it's, it's not, not, no, I'm not singling anybody out. I'm singling me out, okay? I'm leaving for a minute. I'll be back though, right? I'll be back. We're going to do the thing. We're going to mix it up, chop it up. We're going to do all that, but not right now. That's it. Hmm? Because I was that one. I was that damn girl. Coleslaw. You don't know it, girl, when you see it smack you in the face. You're not that B.I., okay? You are a B.I., but you're not that one, okay? And that one would never title themselves as a B.I., Okay, because I'm not a bia, and the people that I I I, I fucks with ain't bias. Okay, none none of none of the women that I've met recently or it from my who are day ones are bias. Okay, none of them. They don't label themselves as bia. That that that's a word where you get you bust in the mouth. If you use it around the women that I'd get down with, they will they will pummel you and 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 make short work of it. Okay. We wasn't born into this type of powerful energy and gifts. We were forged through fire. Okay, taking L's, being humble. Okay, not listening to fools all the time. Did did I get a quite? A, yeah, yeah. I had a lot of fools around me. I heard a lot of foolish shit. I did a lot of foolish shit listening to the fucking fools. Okay, but then I said, wait a minute. Let me deactivate these connections. Okay, let me let me suppress some of this noise so I can hear myself and feel myself again. Huh? Okay. Now check this out. Two, we're going to roll right into the next one. What narcissists try to do to you, the fool, try to play you for a fool. Huh? I had to realize I was delusional. I thought if you were a good person and you do right by people, that people will take your kindness and, and give you kindness back. But what I realize is sometimes in this world, the kinder you are, the more they try to play you like a fool. Everyone deserves the... Okay. I had to realize... Okay. Let's do that again. Huh? Let's do that again. I had to realize I was delusional. I thought if you were a good person and you do right by people that people will take your kindness and, and give you kindness back. But what I realize is sometimes in this world, the kinder you are, the more they try to play you like a fool. Yeah. Bam. Okay. Bingo. 
you're delusional if you think it's just purity of heart. But after you get older and live life and intertwine yourself with other people and experiences, you know that kindness translates to a fool as you are a fool. The empath is viewed as a fool by the narcissist because the empath has kindness and has a soul. You heard it. We, we, we always say it. You think my kind, you take my kindness for weakness. You think I'm stupid. I'm trying to be nice to y'all dumb, ignorant, un, uneducated, unintelligible ass. How many times did I say Melody is the plug? Okay, Melody is the clout in Huntsville. Melody is that woman. She's a queen. And the older women, we surround her and support her because we resonate with her journey. The fire that forged her into who she is now, all 38 years of her. And we need to flank Vanessa, Mama Vanessa, and help protect her as well as those babies and the rest of her family. That's what older women, you remember that back in the day on the movie Beloved, where them women saw them spirits of Legion, Leviathan, and uh, 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 Lucifer, and, and uh, Beelzebub up in Beloved house with her mama, and them women surrounded that house and stretched out their hands and began to moan and pray without words. They just sang and hummed and prayed and glorified the great spirit and prayed them damn demons out of that shanty. Y'all remember that? Huh? I might play that for y'all a little later today. We'll do a part two maybe or extension of watch your mouth. Okay. Shout out to what's happening for, uh, giving us a snippet of the G checkup from the neck up from a legacy to an elder. Let's peep it. Cali expressed. My bad, y'all. We're going to let this commercial rock. But this was a flawless G check by a gangstress righteously and I cosign. Okay. Peep it. Y'all heard it already. I'm finna do it again. No. My bad. Shout out to shout out to what's happening. I didn't mean to uh, put your intro in there, sis. Hold on. My bad. My bad. Shout out to what's happening. Another queen that will elegantly get with you. Okay. Without ruffling any of her coils on top of her crown. <laughs> okay, let's 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 go. I study study the lifespan in this day and time. How long you live in in you know, look at it. Look at it. Your life is halfway over. And instead of doing something positive for a change besides stealing, <laughs> doing something positive Besides being a thief, doing something positive for the second half of your life, you won't hear causing a ruckus. You won't hear coming for a 38 year old. That's deplorable. So, you heard what I said. Okay, since we hurling that word around, reckless words, watch your mouth. That's deplorable. When an older woman with grown children, verbally, mentally, spiritually attacks one of her legacies, a younger woman for no justifiable reason, you're bitter, okay? You're bitter. You're bitter. You are jealous. You are in ignorant. That's just the top three to come to mind right away every time I see it disgusting 
I meant what I said, and you sit over there and wait for your papers because like a lot of people on this internet that make threats about lawsuits, because the only thing I've been to court for is about my kids. Everybody knows that. A lot of people make threats about lawsuits. I'm not playing. I don't make those kind of threats. I make it happen. So you better get ready. It ain't nothing else. It ain't nothing else. Just get ready and get ready to come to that courthouse and prove whatever all this stuff you've been saying. All this stuff you've been saying. Because I'm going to come at you for every, every lie you told. I want something. For every lie you told, I want something. Prove it. Not playing. Not playing with you. I have no more. The little soft, you know, little soft spot I had. Because let's be clear. I mean, me and your daughter talked on the phone back in maybe December. She texted me, did I have a moment to speak? I said, sure. She And see, this is why, as younger women, why older women get cussed the fuck out. I'm just keeping it a buck. This is why. Because older women don't know how to watch the mouth. Watch your fucking mouth, okay? You're not talking to your subordinate. You're talking to another adult. And just because they are younger than you doesn't mean you have the right and entitlement to be disrespectful to that younger woman. That is not conducive to what women are supposed to be for the village, especially if you're a mother. How dare you? How dare you come at somebody sideways just because you're older and you think they're beneath you because they are younger than you? You out your mind. And now, <laughs> as we plainly see, these millennials ain't playing, okay? They're not going to put paws. They'll put papers, okay? All right, let's go call, ask me some advice on something I'm not going to share because I told her I would not share the conversation. Ask for some advice on something I gave it to her. Boom, boom, boom. We just filmed the other day together. Cool conversation. Laughed. Ha ha. Boom, boom, boom. So I was keeping a little soft spot trying to not go in on you because of the fact of how we all trying to get along. But girl, let me tell you, I'm not checking for you. Somebody said get Marcella too. She getting hers too. She been lying for, for years too. They just make stuff up. She said I was still sleeping with my ex-husband. I ain't slept with him since I left him in 2020. Lying. Proof, but you're going to have to prove. And that's another thing. We've asked this question a bazillion times. I've asked my mama this. I've asked my dad's mother this before she passed over. Why do you always have to slut shame beautiful younger women why, why why is you always worried about what that woman is doing in the bedroom with whom is it because she's beautiful yeah i mean anybody anybody in their right mind mind a healthy uh, a, a, a red-blooded black man would want to be intimate with a beautiful woman like melody or any of the other young ladies that we see younger than us who are vibrant women that's a natural thing to do is want to, you're, you're attracted. There's chemistry. Okay. Why do it, why, why do you have to discuss things like that when you feel anger or when you feel disdain toward a person, another woman, why do you have to bring up her intimate life? What, what does that have to do with anything? Nothing. How is that supposed to strengthen your vitriol and and aim for what 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 are you doing when when you, you're trying to shame her embarrass her what what are you trying to do? Hmm? That's also another disgusting tactic of foolish older women beauty shaming, slut shaming. Useless, reckless energy. Watch your mouth. Prove it. I have to prove this. Nobody's playing with y'all. I make money to shut up hoes like you. You a hoe. You always been a hoe. And you know who got a damn husband and a boyfriend. 
Wanda. Lil Wanda, grow up. Or not. Don't matter. Either way, I'm going to get paid. I'm going to holler at y'all. Um, you know, there you have it, folks. Say less. Okay? We're going to go out with this one. Stay low-key until you come up. No one has ever seen anyone get their shit together. What happened was that person disappeared. You didn't see them or hear from them for a while, and all of a sudden they popped back up, and they was looking better, feeling better, and doing better. You're like, oh, shit. You didn't see them. You don't hear a tree grow. The problem is a lot of y'all want to be on the scene. You still want to be seen. You have to remove yourself from them environments. A lot of y'all be making these changes, but these little bitch-ass changes. I had to stop hanging where I was hanging. I had to stop talking to who I was talking to. We know the eyes are a gateway to the soul, but the ears is the biggest gateway because what you hear become part of your thoughts. Your thoughts... And check this out. Do you think that Melody, Charnita, Sharita... We can keep going. Would would have become what they are now, the women that they are now, if they kept listening to and hanging around certain motherfucking people. Hmm. Just because I don't talk to you no more doesn't mean I have to pay for it the rest of my life. Why should I stay linked up with people who speak the opposite of life hmm. darkness and despair toxicity messiness gossipy I'm supposed to stick around you and, and hang out with you and be cool with you and nothing you have nothing to offer but toxic energy no thank you no thank you become part of your mood and your physicality then that becomes part of your behavior and your behavior the result of that is the life you have now so you got to control what you're listening to and who you listening to i had to realize i was delusional i thought if you were a good person and you do right by people that people will take your kindness and, and give you kindness back. But what I realize is sometimes in this world the kinder you are the more they try to play you like a fool. I had to realize I